Do you ever struggle to know exactly what to pray for? I certainly do. Uh, there are moments in life when I know I should pray about something specific, but I'm unsure what to pray. And maybe you've been there. You're trying to pray, but just sitting in a seemingly never-ending awkward moment of silence with God. Maybe you've even wondered this. What if I pray for the wrong thing? It can be frustrating and discouraging. But the Apostle Paul gives us some incredible encouragement in Romans chapter 8. He tells you and me that when we approach God in prayer, we're actually never praying alone. The Holy Spirit who is alive in you intercedes on your behalf. That idea of intercession here simply means that the Holy Spirit actually prays to God for us. Though at times we may be unsure of what to pray for and how to voice our requests, the Holy Spirit knows what's best for us and asks God on our behalf. Harper, she's my oldest daughter, she's a year and a half old, and she's starting to learn how to talk, which is the most fun thing ever. But in her limited vocabulary, there are these moments when she struggles to articulate exactly what she wants. I eventually figure it out, and using my own words, I help her formulate what she's trying to say. And that's a picture of how the Holy Spirit takes our deepest longings and aspirations and brings them in line with God's ultimate purposes for our lives. Frustrated because you don't know what to pray for? Don't be. Worried about praying for the wrong thing? Don't be. Rather, in those moments when you don't know what to pray, admit it. Tell God. And in the same breath, tell God that even though you don't know, you're confident that the Holy Spirit does and you're depending on his perfect intercession to align your heart and life with God's perfect will. Because remember, you're never praying alone.